you go from point A to point B by taking five steps forward, seven steps backwards, and 14 steps forward, how far is A to B? And then of course, after these last steps, you arrive to point B. If you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so first things first, first we have a math word problem. And of course we wanna understand uh, what's going on here. So always use the rule of three read a problem at least three times, even if it's pretty simple. It's just a good habit to get into like, all right, I'm gonna read this problem, really take in the information and understand the question. And the question is, is we're going from point A to point B. So we're going from here and we're arriving here. Okay, so we're starting at point A and we're going to arrive to point B, but how far, what is the distance from A to B after we take these series of steps? Well, the best way to solve any math word problem or any problem with that is to create a model and try to visualize what's going on. There's that old adage, a picture uh, speaks a thousand words. And so seeing things is just much easier to understand the situation. So let's go ahead and take a look at a model of the problem. Okay, so we're going to point A, we're starting from point A and we're going to be going to point B. We don't know how far this is it, to how far this distance is, but we do know that we're going to be going forward and backwards, right? So we're gonna be taking some steps here, we're gonna be walking forward in a linear path, and of course we have to simplify this problem. We're not walking forward this way, backwards this way. We're kind of going uh, just directly forward and then directly uh, backwards on the same path. And of course we need to assume that our steps are equal distance. So. Anytime, anytime you have a math problem and you're like, well, this could happen or you know, this could be the situation, you always want to just assume the simplest version of the problem. But uh, anyways, here we go. We're gonna be starting from point A, but what are we gonna be doing first? Well, we have to go back to the problem and we're gonna be taking some steps forward. So we're gonna arrive at a particular point and then we're going to turn around and we're gonna be taking some steps backwards. We're gonna stop and then we're gonna turn around again and then we're going to go forward and eventually end up at point B. So how can we do this uh, easily? Well, uh, let's do this, um, I think, in a simple manner first, just in case you know some people out there might be a little bit confused on what's going on. And I suspect most people find this problem so far pretty easy. Okay, so let's take a look at the steps that we're going to be taking, kind of our driving direction from point A to point B. So the first thing we're going to do, and we have to do it in this order, is we're gonna take five steps forward, okay? Now, once we get to that destination, we're gonna turn around, and then we're going to take seven steps backwards. Then once we get to that destination, we're gonna turn around again, and we're gonna take 14 steps forward, and we will have arrived at point B. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take this uh, step by step, and literally step by step. So let's go ahead and first, take a look at five steps forward. So here we have a effectively like a number line. Now I didn't say this is a real number line, but let's go ahead and interpret it as a number line. So here our point A, let's call that zero. We're gonna be starting from zero and we're gonna be going in this direction, the forward direction, and numbers increase this way. So we have zero, positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, positive five. So here, we're gonna be going in the forward direction, but it's really the positive direction, okay? So five steps forward, we land uh, five steps away in this direction from A. Okay, so pretty straightforward, but we are not done yet. So what we're gonna do is take the next uh, step, which is seven steps backwards. So we're gonna be going in the opposite direction. So but where are we gonna be taking these steps backwards from? Well, we're gonna be taking these steps backwards from where we ever 
or where we arrived after taking five steps forward. So that's why visually it's really nice to uh, be able to see this. So here we are at five. Now we're going to turn around and we're going to walk in this direction uh, this way. Okay, now we're going in the backward direction. So if we took five steps forward and then we turn around and took five steps backwards, we effectively are at zero. We didn't go any place, right? So we went five steps forward this way, five steps backwards, but we took two more additional steps backwards because we took a total of seven steps backwards. So we can uh, model that uh, place, that location, as uh, with the number negative two. Okay, now this is kind of a great model to um, show you uh, the real number line. Okay, so numbers less than zero in this direction are negative numbers. Okay, so we're here at negative two after taking seven steps backwards or right here. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do here is take 14 steps forward and we're going to be going from the other direction, but we're going to be starting where we uh, left off after the seven steps. So of course that is at negative two. So we're going to be going forward, which means we're going to be going in this direction, the forward direction. So 14 steps forward, we're going to go two here. This is negative two. We go two uh, in this direction. So after doing two steps, we only have 12 more steps to go or 12 more steps in our 14 steps. And that lands us here at 12. So we don't have any more directions or any more steps to take. So what is the distance between um, A and B? Well, let's just be clear. Point B is where our last uh, steps uh, finished. So that is at 12. So the distance from A to B is 12 units. Okay, so pretty straightforward. But a lot of you out there might have forgotten uh, the real number line or just basic positive and negative number concepts. Matter of fact, when you learn uh, positive and negative numbers, how to add positive and negative numbers, this is a pretty common model. Let me give you an example right here. Let's say I have three plus negative five. All right, so three plus negative five, what is the answer? Okay, now there's different ways to teach this, but three plus negative five, the answer is negative two. Now, I like to teach this use, or I like to uh, teach positive and negative numbers using a variety of models. One of the models that I like to use is money, okay? So for example, negative values are like debt. So here you owe $5 in debt, and you're, you have a bill that's worth $5, but you have $3, or you just made $3. So what's your financial situation? Well, if you have $3, but you owe someone $5, you, you'll give that person all those three dollars, but you still owe them two more dollars. So negative uh, values could you know you kind of think of that as debt, and positive values you could think of as having money. But this is only one particular model. But let's get back to this number line here. So three plus negative five is equal to negative two. So a common model in mathematics when it comes to real numbers is you'll use a number line just like we did right here. So three is what this is positive three. So it's going to be located going in this direction. So here's positive one, positive two, positive three, right here. Now what we're gonna do is add negative five. So that means we're gonna add negative five, but we're gonna be going in this direction, five. So let me just go ahead and give us some room here. So if we go from three, we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going five units in this direction, and we're gonna land right here at negative two because we went one, well actually let me do it this way. I think it'd be a little bit clearer, okay? So we went one, two, three, we're going in this direction, four, five, and we land at negative two, because this right here is negative one, and this is five uh, uh, steps in the negative direction, or uh, five, um, or, ne or we're adding negative five. So just a quick kind of example, on how to do this, but others of you could have done it in this way, which was pretty straightforward as well. So let me go to show you that. But first, let me show you this, which is an invitation for you to support me on this YouTube channel. I need your help to grow my channel. My objective is to help as many people learn mathematics as possible. Okay, so whether it be basic math, kind of like what we're talking about now, or advanced math like calculus and everything in between. You know, a lot of people need assistance in mathematics. They're just not getting the instruction 
they need in the classroom, not because there's not a lot of great teachers out there, but in a class, for example, you know, being a teacher myself, you're in the class, you have maybe one hour with that teacher, and that's it. And you have 30 people, uh, you know, in the classroom with you, 30 other students. And sometimes if you don't have access to that teacher, or if you didn't get what they are understanding, or if you're out sick, whatever the case is, you need additional help. So with my channel, uh, you can basically find a ton of content 24-7. But anyways, I do need your help. So if you don't mind subscribing and hitting that notification button, that would be awesome. Okay, so let's go back and take a look at another way we could have thought of this problem. All right, so we have steps forward, steps backwards, and steps forward. Now, if we think of steps forward as positive numbers and steps backwards as negative numbers, okay, we could have just kind of just did a, uh, some quick arithmetic here, as long as we understand, our positive and negative number addition and subtraction, right? So you got to know how to deal with basic positive and negative number, you know, adding it and subtracting them. And that's not that difficult. But if you need help with that and you're like struggling in basic mathematics, uh, check out my Math Foundations course course or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You'll find both uh, the links to both of those courses in the description. Uh, but I also have a ton of YouTube videos that go over, you know, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, positive, and negative numbers. But we kind of looked at some quick examples. But let's suppose you knew or already know how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. You could have just done this. You'd be like, all right, uh, what's going on here? So we have five steps forward. So we'll just kind of think of that as positive five. Seven steps backwards, we could think of that as negative seven. And then 14 steps forward, we could think of that as positive 14, right? Because forward is going to be positive. Backwards will be negative. So here we have a positive plus a negative plus a positive, and we could just do the simple arithmetic. So positive 5 plus negative uh, 7, that's going to be what? Negative 2. So negative 2 plus a positive 14 gives us a positive 12. All right. Now, this is um, one of these type of problems that even if you don't even know positive and negative numbers, you could have just reasoned through it and you could have done this in your brain. And a lot of you did that, and that is fantastic. But really, I think the bigger point to this little problem is to kind of, uh, you know, establish the direction on a number line, okay? That numbers and values do have directions. In other words, numbers increase this way are, you know, positive, and they're going to positive infinity, and numbers going this way are getting uh, smaller and smaller. They're getting uh, more negative, if you will, and eventually they're going to end up at negative infinity. And you really got to understand numbers and how they relate to one another on a real number line in order to be successful in all levels of mathematics. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.